What's up, guys? This is Marcus from Core. Uh, trail report for this week. We're a couple days out from where we usually post near the, the beginning of the week. Um, I had the opportunity to be in South Dakota at the end of last week and over the weekend and the first of this week. So tried to compile as much information as possible into this video. Uh, there's a lot of things happening from a lot of different areas, so we're going to kind of break it down into areas first. So let's go to the southern part of, of the trail report. So Mendino Pass, obviously that's been open for um, several weeks now. Uh, we posted early on about that from the National Park Service. Um, I still see some questions about the water levels uh, down there, so I went ahead and pulled the Mendino Creek flow reports. Um, you can see it's well past its peak and it's continuing on the way down. Peak just before uh, Memorial Day weekend. And I was down there is around 40 CFS, so it's substantially lower than that. So water shouldn't be an issue for crossings in the with vehicles. Uh, there is a mud hole that's formed down there, so uh, I've seen some traffic kind of bypassing that around the side a little bit. Um, but people are still getting through. Uh, we've had core board members out all over the place and some of our other friends and partners. So um, two of our guys, Mike and uh, Luke, were down there in the Wet Mountain Valley outside of uh, West Cliff area. Hermit Pass is open to about 11-2. So before tree line, it's blocked by snow down there. They also checked out Cloverdale Mine. That's open past the, um, like the Cloverdale main mine site and the cabins there. Drove up past that. The road continues on for a little ways um, before it ends. They didn't quite get to the end of the road. There's snow in the trees, but Cloverdale is really close to being open to the end, and it is open to the mine site. Um, obviously, reported you know a while back that Hayden Pass is open. 527 is when uh, we saw a report. David Cook and his friends uh, shoveled out Hayden Pass, so that was fully passable since 527. Uh, if we move back up a little bit, let's talk like North Fork Reservoir off of Highway 50. It's open to North Fork Reservoir. Billings Lake. So some of our friends, uh, Mark and, and others up there from Mile High Jeep Club, um, were here around Buena Vista over Memorial Day weekend. Uh, they do a lot of the same stuff we do. Uh, low air pressure, big tires push into places. So they actually made it all the way up to Billings Lake, um, which sits there right at the edge of tree line. So if you can handle deep snow, the road will be open to Billings Lake. Um, and then again, once it's tracked up, um, those tend to melt uh, a lot quicker uh, than just regular snow on roads. So that's what we're looking at there. So Caleb, Freestone Racing, they put on the High Lonesome 100. We help them with that aid station. Um, they always check out Little Browns and get up to the top there at the intersection for Antero. So this is looking back at the switchbacks. Um, this is where it always is the last to open. On that last big big switchback section, there's always a huge snow field. That's why that one track kind of goes up and around that switchback where people go around this, this snow section. So you can get to the, the lower switchbacks there, um, right where they start out of the, the tree line there. But this is what it looks like. So probably don't go up the road. It'll, it'll be hard to turn around. Um, it's going to be a while before that's open. Um, one of our other board members, Keith, was was in our area, so checking out Hancock and Tin Cup on the Salida side. Um, about the same as we've reported before. You can get to the Hancock Town site, Alpine Tunnel Trailhead on the east side here, uh, and then right when you start up Hancock Pass at that intersection, snow starts on the road. So there's really not much to report there. Tin Cup, you can still, if you want to drive through snow, you can still only get up to the top of, you know, what is Sawmill Hill there, right at tree line but it is still really deep on the top um our friend Corey over there at the silver plume store in pitkin um big core supporter we work a lot with him if you guys are over there in pitkin be sure to stop by the store there on your way through town uh so they've been checking things out on their side um cumberland pass drove up the pass there from pitkin about five and a half miles ran into snow there um Took some video over there on the west Alpine Tunnel Grade, just past the Williams Gulch water tank. You get up there, they were able to get to right below the the big palisade that's damaged. Um, looking up into that Avi chute there, it looks like it ran. There's some, some rocks in the road, some snow there. Uh, and then they even said that there's snow farther up at the, 
the avalanche chute where the old town side of Woodstock used to be too. So there's, there's a lot of material from snow that's on that road. Um, I was over there working last year and I crossed uh, Cumberland Pass on the 13th of June. And then um, we were doing rock scaling on the Palisade uh, Road there. And I was able to drive up above where the Palisade is toward the Hancock side. And I took this photo looking back to Tamichi also on the 13th. So you can see from Corey's stuff compared to this that there is substantially more snow and you can't get anywhere close to the levels that we were pushing up there um, last year. Uh, again, Sean, one of our board members over there, again at Mirror Lake, this is what it looks like now. There's still some ice on the lake. Obviously, it's very deep from the runoff, um, and that basin is still really full of snow. So, you know, not a lot to report on, on stuff being open over there. Um, you can get a little bit up Napoleon Pass on the Tin Cup side. Um, nothing really on the, on the Pitkin side. So it's going to be a while for that. Come back over to our side a little bit, Mount Princeton. Uh, you can get up towards the last switchback, uh, there above the towers. Um, that's usually where the, the snow is held in that road that keeps it closed. We opened it last year on June 6th. We shoveled out that drift. You can see it from town. So, you know, I can, we can look up from right where we are in the town of Buena Vista and see when that drift is, is, you know, melted down enough that we think we can shovel that out. So we're clearly already behind that from last year where we shoveled it out June 6th. Um, this year's a lot more snow, so it's going to take quite a bit longer. Um, looking farther up, let's go Champion Mill again. So we were there, you know, if you saw the last video, you saw us up there. The mill site is open. It's deep snow after the mill. I still see people asking about the crossings. We did an in-depth um, discussion on that in that last video, but here's the flow report of where Half Moon Creek is now. Um, when we were there, it was between 80 and 100 CFS. Peaked up towards like 140, but <clears throat> now has been coming down with the cold weather, and we're probably past that peak, so everything should be good. You know, we were there, it was around 80, and it was about 25 inches deep, so should be fine there. Iron Mike, that side, we got to tree line. Um, so that one's still melting out. Uh, Clossy, you can get up to the meadow, the big meadow where the, the Emvum ends. Um, the road goes a little bit far that in the deep trees, but you can get up to the meadow. Uh, Hagerman, one of our board members, Cheston, was up there. Um, so he went up to the, the kiosk that we put in last year at that uh, big winding, big bend curve there. <clears throat> About a mile past that, there were some big rocks that had fallen down into the road. And then depending on whether you were interested in driving through snow or not, you get about a mile farther. So really not much open on Hagerman. Uh, Sean checked out Slide Lake actually today. Got up to like 11.3, so not quite to the end of the road there. Uh, deep snow, really wet conditions. Uh, make sure you stay on the trail if you're in and around wet conditions. Um, and then be advised, Holy Cross is still closed. Uh, closed on June 5th to the 16th they're doing road work up in there so you won't be able to access holy cross until june 16th when that closure comes off so we don't have a lot to report over there uh and just keep in mind snow snow levels change this time of year on a day-to-day -day basis and you know we try and give you the most accurate up-to-date information we possibly can but the backcountry is very dynamic right now in in changing uh, with snow conditions and, and melt. Um, we had a couple years ago, guys giving us a really hard time as we were reporting that it was open to Holy Cross City uh, towards the end of June. And, and he was furious because he was up there the day before our report and could only get to like where the, the big mud bog used to be that, that was fixed there. And uh, we had seen some of the guys that we knew, big tires that had pushed past that and had pictures of them at the city uh, and he thought there was no way anybody could get up there and that, that we were misreporting. So um, just because you can get somewhere and, and you were there a day or two or, or something was different the last time you were there doesn't mean that that holds true forever. Things are changing quick. So even these reports, that's why I've been trying to do them weekly, that they'll be obsolete um, in another week, in another couple of days even. And we'll see if we can get out there on the trail, bring you some more video footage um, from this weekend and, and see what it, things look like next week.